so this is a um, quick demo of how you might organize your day um, if you were a manager or a team lead who is taking notes on Rome and, and doing your one-on-ones in here. Um, so first thing that you're going to do is you might, you know, if you're having a meeting, you might type a type of meeting. I'm just going to type you know, one-on-one connector. And what that does is it allows you to go and you can look back over all of your meetings of a certain type over time. Um, let's just actually, uh, I'm going to change, I'm going to change this example a little bit. I'm going to pretend this whole meeting happened. Um, let's just, well, let's have this one happen tomorrow and this one happen the day after just so that it's better tomorrow. So now let's go back to daily notes, right? Notes that happen in the future actually are, are um, gonna show up over here. So because we're pretending we're on March 29th, um, in my one-on-one -on -one with Wendy, uh, I am just taking notes. In this case, I've, uh, we're talking about how to better manage the team. She mentions a book, High Output Management. I'm gonna throw it on my to buy list and I'm also gonna throw it on my Amazon list so that you know when I'm going and I've got Amazon open, I can just click on that tag Amazon and I can see if there's something I need to do here, right? Actually, maybe I should instead have this be, you know, buy how, how open management. Um, related to this, I have to ask a lot of Billy what he thinks of this book. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just tagging context that I want this note to appear in, right? So we'll go back to this day, later on, maybe I'm reading it and I, I see something that I wanna, you know, bring up in my Q2 review meeting. Um, and you know, maybe this is something like definition def of an active manager. All right. I'm not really doing this right now, so otherwise I'd write a little quote here. And that way in my Q2 meeting, I've got all my notes um, from different conversations I've had or different like things that I've read, and I've just got my context for that, that Q2 review meeting when it comes up um, right here. But let's go back to my daily notes. Um, let's sort of fast forward, we'll fast forward to tomorrow. When I'm having my meeting with Dollar Bill, I'm actually gonna shift click this and I can actually, so you know, if this hadn't all been written yet, um, I'm able to see, I can see nine places that he's been mentioned across my whole database, you know, and here I can filter for anything that's a to-do item, but because that's a, a common query that I'm doing over my, my like connected notes, um, and I want it, you know, I want it in the context when I'm having this meeting, I just wanna be able to shift click on Dollar Bill and see this, um, I can, uh, you know, I can just um, have a query in Rome. So I'm querying for all my to-dos that relate to Dollar Bill. Uh, and you know, that way I can just click it and see it. And since I'm gonna actually do that, um, let's, let's delete this, this note real quick. Um, oh no, uh, let's delete this. I start asking his thoughts on it, but I wanna, I wanna sort of mark this thing done. I wanna say when I did it. So I'm just holding the Alt key on Mac and I'm just gonna drag it over. And so now there's one reference here. So I can, um, I can see that it got taken care of and then I'm just gonna check that to-do off here. Um, and you know, his thoughts are that created ton of stuff we take for granted and this, this particular way of measuring the output of a manager and the team. I also want that to show up in my Q2 meeting. So I'm tagging that here. Um, but yeah, dollar, dollar bill has some problems with wags, you know, who's a, another guy in my, my, one, another one of my direct reports. So I am going to want to like bring this up with, with wags when I have my meeting with him. Um, and then, you know, my meeting with him ends up being, oh, um, ends up being on March 31st. Right. So, you know, same, same thing happens, just clicking this note. Uh, well, you know, actually, because I, I faked this earlier, um, I still have this to do, right? I'm going to, I'm going to drag this thing over again, using that alt drag. Um, I could also, uh, use the, uh, use these double parens to, to just reference that block. Um, or, you know, if I do command K this, I can reference that block and um, and not have the whole content be embedded. That's useful if I'm if I'm mapping out arguments or those kinds of things. If I hover over this, I'll see what the actual block was. But yeah, then I can just click that there. Now I've got no no to dos or nothing that is like an action item relevant for Wags or for Dollar Bill. And then you know I can take his notes on high output management. So when it comes time for me to be like reviewing reviewing that book, all those notes are going to be there too. Um, so that's an example of how you might run one on ones uh, in Rome.